Welcome to my tribe, please subscribe and if you're coming back for another video, thank you so much. So today I'm starting a vlog, which I haven't done since March, which was like three months ago. But yes, I haven't done a vlog since March. I'm sorry for the ugliest background, you're just going to have to deal with it. But today is Friday, the 18th of June, it's almost half past 10 and um, I have an appointment at 11 with my nail tech to do my nails. I have to walk away to nail tech. My nails are literally the ghetto. They are so the ghetto. But I am going to get my nails to get my nails. I have a life in me. I have a life in me. So can I explore upon as a mini, as a moment, as a zoo, as a vibe, so I can do bad vibes. So I can do as much as a car, as a room, as a room, as a room. So as um, you need my own visa to come and deny it again. Bone, whether I went in well, or whether you do your nails, you also visa to come and. Life is too short. But like, get your priorities straight first. Sort out is no zako first. But yeah, I'm gonna do my nails. Right now, I'm about to spray my hair and then apply in some leave-in cream and then oil my scalp. I did oil my scalp a few days ago, but. It's feeling dry again, so I'm going to spray my hair and then put my scalp. Let's get into it. Right now, it's just water and conditioner that mixed together to make my own leave-in conditioner. And then I'm going to use my milk and honey. I don't usually apply it like all over, all down the strand of my braids. I just stop where I assume or I guess or I see where my hair stops. I use this natural fusion ceramide Monday hair food oil. For those of you who are interested, this is color 30 Catalin. I used um, 1 million color 30 and then I mixed it up with color 27. Oh, well, I've just came back from doing my nails. A cute whatever, red, bold, fire. But I feel like I went too short. I should have gone the same length I did the last time, but it's not bad. At least I'll be able to work and type. And then I went to Food Lovers and I got like a fruit, I got apples and not apples, I'm lying. I got oranges and bananas. And then, yeah, and then I went to Checkers. I bought um, lactose-free milk, which is very expensive. One day I noticed that I had conflicts with milk and I noticed that my stomach wasn't fine after I had breakfast. I would wake up, my stomach is fine, but after eating, my stomach was, hmm. Basically, go out, was like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It was horrible. It was literally so horrible. And then, the same afternoon, I got, um, I got an ice cream cone. Same thing happens. Next morning, I had conflicts with milk again because and I like things and my stomach was fighting me yet again so then I thought you know what let me not have anything that had milk or dairy and I was fine next day I was like let me have dairy just to prove myself right same thing so I've been off dairy for the past um, 
two two and a half weeks guys being lactose intolerant is expensive it is expensive you know because you know like it's 19 rand it is just is 20 rand so i bought that i'm gonna try it out and see which one i prefer like which taste i prefer and then it also means i need to be quite easy on my dairy intake i haven't eaten the whole entire day like no spoons are some bit one I literally haven't eaten the whole entire day so I'm gonna have noodles and I have noodles and I have this as a starter which is really really nice I haven't had like baby food in a while and I actually enjoy it so anyway I got a package a package 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 and um, I got a package early this week from main care um she sent me the herbal the hair tea and she sent me um this hair tea herbal tea it has um your hibiscus rosemary raspberry wheat clover nettle leaf and badok root oh it looks good it looks good i wonder can you drink this I wonder but it's good for your hair so i'll be trying this out um sometime and then i'll post a video on my channel but anyway i'm saying i want to use this now that i have my braids in and use it as a as a daily hair spirit so once that bottle that i used this morning is finished my leave-in conditioner mix is finished i'm gonna brew some of this I'm gonna brew some of this and then use it but i low-key wanna wait until i have my braids out so i can actually actually feel how it's gonna feel on my hair like directly on my hair to like kind of get what i mean but i am super 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 excited to try this thank you so much Mwah, thank you <laughs> morning guys or oh, good afternoon because it's almost 12 o'clock but it's saturday the next day the 19th of june um I don't have much planned for today all i have to do is shoot some content for instagram and yeah but like right now i just came back from the shower all moisturized glowing but yeah welcome back to another day in my life this snow like is milk is low-key orange which is kind of surprising. I wasn't expecting that, but it tastes like milk. So that's good. It's actually a bit sweeter than milk, if I remember how milk tastes like. But it's a bit sweeter, like a little, a tad bit little sweeter than milk. But I got bad weight too, so I'll survive. But like, So now I'm going to show you I'm gonna show you how I shape my brows. So I'm gonna pop, so I'm gonna pop some got to be on them and then I'm gonna brush them up just so I can get like the shape that I want and then I can sort of see where I need to remove. And then I'm gonna take this blade thingy my bobs that I bought at Minikue. They were like three, I don't know how much it was. I, I think it was like 30 or 40 rand, or even 20, I don't remember, but they were like three. So I'm gonna take this and then, because I'm gonna like it because I'm gonna look at my mirror. But hopefully my bone and the inside. they look good and now they look good mm -hmm. <laughs> and by the way i still do my brows the same way i did them in that tutorial i am a creature of habit so i still use the same technique it works for me most days some days life happens <laughs> sweetie looks amazing already so what I want to do, 
I've been wanting to do it because it's so scary and you know you need to get out of your comfort zone. I want to do a red eyeshadow look. Ne? I have a red over here. Which is not that pigmented, but it is some pigment. Yeah, it's not bad. My <laughs> arms are meant to be torn. I don't know what to do. I want to do red. I want to do red, but like I don't know what to do. We are going to see. We are just going to see. I'm just gonna just blend. Do a whole lot of blending. Blend, 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 blend. And you know what? Sometimes we blend like yeah, but but if you're watching this, please sponsor a girl with brushes. More especially eyeshadow brushes. Low key vlogging and blending is the same thing. Same thing. It's a lot of work. I just say can't do that. Kubano Kayams. Kubano Kayams. Who is she? Does she know me? Yeah. Okay, one bono Kayams. Does she know me? Why can't one bona Kayams? Is she still alive? Is she still breathing? Because in the corner we go. In the corner. Yeah. I'm the corner. I'm not worried. I'm not tired. I'm going to make up because in the corner. She can rest now. The corner. Okay, I'm so. Who is she? Hey, boy. Huh? Hmm. Yeah, that's. So a bit of Vaseline and then back with in with your color and then patch that sweet baby up like nothing ever happened. Yet I can many new Zila Mubani Kams. Who is she? Because I don't know her. I don't. This is the finished look. <laughs> this is me. This is who I am. My name is Bulle. Welcome back to my channel. It's good to have you here. Hope you like it here. <laughs> I mean, we did have a bit of a struggle there in the first half, but we came through. I came through. Look at my hands and in clear. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm going to clean up now and then I'm taking myself out. The day is still young. I can't feel nine. So I'm guessing I'm as cool as the one. So I feel good nine. So, so right. <laughs> so I just, I'm going to go for a solid day. So I'm dressed. Black bodysuit. This black in my pants. I'm posing. <laughs> Pose, 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 pose. <laughs> oh, guys, this is why I don't wear makeup on a daily because I don't know how to behave. I don't know how to control myself. Do you play?
So I just got here to um, botany. They don't do wine tasting anymore. It's quite loud. They don't do wine tasting anymore. So I'm just going to have a glass and have some breads and um, see where it goes. Thank you so much. Having a glass of rosé. Just two bags. Let's go yeah, and if I enjoy it, then I'll get something else. But they only have like wines and, and snacks. They don't do um, meals. So I think it's a, it's a cute place. It's fine. It's not bad. The bread is nice. Olive oil is nice. The balsamic vinegar is just a vinegar. They don't have food, but that's what's upsetting. They don't have food. So I guess I'm gonna go to another location and have something light. Yeah. My supper is alright. Guys, my housemate got me a guinea. Oh my gosh. And I'm so hungry. So it came at the perfect time. I've literally like been craving a maguinha for I don't know how long. I love maguinha. Anyway, this is what I made. Um, roasted potatoes, creamy, broccoli, some just butternut with sugar, butter and cinnamon, and then just um, a stir fry. I just put aromat herbs and black pepper and some coconut oil, and then my pork chops. But the same God that comforts the downcast also confronts the dysfunctional. Mm. And he loves you too much to leave you in something that is limiting you mm. he's a confrontational god mm. I, I know that thinking of god as confrontational may violate our perception of him as mm. it was handed down to us but god is very confrontational right god god will get up in the face of anything that will keep you from being all that he created you to be 